Well, summer is traditionally one of the busiest times for real estate in the county. Many families are looking to move into neighborhoods that are close to the best schools. But how do you afford that? Real estate agent Seth O'Byrne is here with a couple of things to consider. Thanks so much for coming. We do appreciate it. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. I don't think people consider this until you have kids. And all of a sudden you go, where are we living and how are the schools in our neighborhoods? And all of a sudden people consider moving. Is that right? Of course, yeah. Uh, other than location and what the property looks like, what school district you're in is typically one of the most important things that people make as a decision as a family. And so parents, this must be the number one question that young families and the parents of those young, young children have for you. Yeah, for sure. Within the first 15 minutes of a one hour appointment, it's the first thing we talk about. How do you find out as far as the the scores of the schools in your neighborhood? Is that something that you found out online? You've done some research? Sure, yeah. We have it on our website, um, Cecil.com, if you want uh, to see it very quickly. But API scores are published publicly online. Um, San Diego Unified School District and the North County School Districts all have uh, different API scores posted. Um, but um, what we wanted to do today is line up the API scores with the median, median housing price so you could see the top, produ the top producing schools and how affordable those areas were. Because I think a lot of people think, I am never going to be able to afford to live in Del Mar and send my children to Torrey Pines High School. Sure. What are my other options? Now you've actually come up with a chart to show people you don't have to live coastal San Diego in some of these higher priced neighborhoods in order to get your child a good education, right? No, absolutely. That's that's a really good point. And in fact, that was one of the things that we really wanted to say um, is that we, many times we get clients and they're very discouraged. And um, I think when you're working with the budget, especially under the median housing price, somewhere under half a million dollars, you just have to be more creative, and that can come in two different ways. Um, you know, we showed uh, Creekside on that. Uh, we're going to show Creekside on that checklist. Uh, we're going to show some of the areas of uh, South Carlsbad and West Bernardo. Those areas are very affordable places to get great API uh, scoring schools. Um, and at the same time, if you want to buy into La Jolla or you want to buy into Del Mar. Um, it's a very simple process, you just got to downsize. So you do recommend downsizing if people are determined to get into some of those school districts. Yeah, you know, um, for someone who's lived in San Diego for 20 years, I think we have an identity crisis on our hands. And that is to say, San Diego used to be a small town. And as small towns become big cities, as San Diego really has become, people naturally have to downsize. If you go to San Francisco or you go to New York City, you expect to live in a townhome or a row home. In San Diego, people are still kind of clinging to large lots and large houses. Um, I think um, people can be very comfortable with a 1,500 square foot townhome with uh, one or two children and get into a wonderful school district on their budget. Let's talk about some of the school districts that you found out doing your research that are really prominent and you're not having to spend a million dollars on a house. Can you just name some names? Of course you can, yeah, absolutely. South Carlsbad is a great option. Um, Carlsbad schools generally, um, for all of Carlsbad, all the zip codes, score very highly. But South Carlsbad specifically is great. And you can get Coastal, a beautiful home for in the sixes, which for San Diego is only slightly over the median. Um, Chula Vista school districts score very high. Um, and it's in general, when you look at the graph though, North County schools, north of the 52 freeway, typically have some of the highest scoring um, uh, schools. And Poway would be at the heart of that as well. Poway Unified, as you know. Poway Unified, okay, I went to Poway High School, so yes, I'll second that. <laughs> you should be proud. <laughs> All right, let's also quickly talk about what else that parents should consider when they're thinking about moving into a new school district or a new neighborhood besides a quality school. What else should parents keep in mind? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, and that's why, again, it's, it's one of the first things you should talk about. Sometimes using things like Zillow or looking online, you can be lured by beautiful properties at affordable prices, but you're missing the whole story. Sometimes homes are very affordable because the crime rate's high um, or there's issues with the schools. And so what I suggest is people sit down with us for 15 to 20 minutes to just go over the schools first and the crime data, talk about the public, uh, the public parks and also the walkability of the neighborhood, and then from there really hone in on the zip code to make the right decision. All right, Seth, thank you so much for coming in. Great information. SethSold.com is his website. If you'd like to get in contact with Seth, go to our website, SanDiego6.com, and click on San Diego Living, and we'll hook the two of you up.